Hello, good morning. How are you? Um, it is part two of functional movement. And this is a topic that I'm super duper passionate about. And I love functional movement is a way to kind of set yourself up for life uh, moving well. And it's such an important reframe so that you can start to think about how your body moves and ways that you can get stronger and ways that you maybe see that you start to are like oh i'm a little bit weaker here this is something that i could improve on and for you to start becoming an independent exerciser so yesterday uh, we talked about functional movement in part one and what it is and how it affects the whole system and how it moves across uh, multiple planes, how it involves the capsule of your midsection, how it's complex in nature. And today, uh, so I shared with you my weird little acronym to help me remember functional movements and it's uh, come sweet, let us poo poo. Yesterday we talked about the C in come, which is carry, and today we're talking about the M in come, which is motor, locomotion, uh, moving your body through the, the world uh, in whatever uh, ability or uh, way that you are able to do so. I, the human body loves to move, and be it in a wheelchair, be it you know, however you can get wind in your face, that's just kind of a natural, and it's a natural uh, way to kind of go through the world. And we have become, you know, uh, sitters. You know, we sit for work, we sit at home, we sit when we drive places, and we don't walk as much as we, as here in, in America anyway, as, as we used to, we love our cars. I was struck by that when I went to Europe, was how, how people walk everywhere. So I wanted to talk about motoring because it's, um, it's one of the easiest entry points into exploring movement. And it's also the, so beneficial. So I thought what I would do is, talk about the recommendations and talk about the benefits. So the recommendations are to motor your body about 150 minutes a week. That's not that much. That's not that much. That's, that's, you can, that is completely doable. And how you motor your body is up to you and your ability level, what you like to do. And so you, I think, you know, getting a hold of what is it that would, you know, again, what is it that would please me and, and, and how can I move my body in the shape that it's in, um, in a way that works for me is really an important aspect of, of autonomy within your uh, moving, you know? So instead of having someone say, do this, it's how can I, how am I able, what would be the best way for me to facilitate this? So 150 uh, minutes a week. If you're able to do weight bearing, uh, what weight bearing movement does is it strengthens the system from the feet up. So from the ground up, motor. There's a there's this cross body movement. There's rotational movement. There's everything is involved to um, to to access everything on your system. And so it is truly uh, functional. So some of the benefits of motoring your body, super surprising, I think. It helps you think better, feel better, sleep better. So let's start with the think better. Uh, besides the fact that it um, increases endorphins, it also disperses when you walk that kind of banging it disperses stress hormones it improves cognitive function and memory helps you to reduce things like heart disease stroke it lowers blood pressure improves blood pressure uh, diabetes several types of cancer 
uh, reduces your blood cholesterol, boosts your immunity, and improves your immune function. These are just, you know, that's just from going for motoring your body, locomoting your body. Is that right word? Locomoting? Is that a verb? Huh. Anyway, moving your body in a way that works for you 150 minutes a week. That's, that's the benefits. Those are just some of the benefits. So the question with this aspect of functional movement, and there's so many ways that you can play with it. That's another thing that's kind of interesting and fun to play with. I saw a guy every day walking in a local park when I would take the kids to school. And he had on, he had on a weight vest and that was how he added load to his, his motoring. Um, I've seen people doing it with backpacks, training with, with weighted backpacks. In, and you don't even need to do that. Just use your, your body. But you can, the point is you can play with speed. You can play with, you, with um, uphills and downhills. You can play with adding load or not adding load. You can, you, you know, you can make it your own. And that's, there's this countless, I feel this countless supply of, of exploratory movements in this category you know you can just go you know go and explore see what feels good you know what lights you up for the day so with this and with april move month start to question you know how, how you enjoy to move how you enjoy to to motor your body um how you are able what feels good um because it's a, you know, it's a really natural desire to have wind in your face, you know? So the sun is shining today where I am. I hope it's shining where you are. Have a great day. We'll be on for part three tomorrow where we're talking about S, which is stabilized. See ya.